Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to fix an iPad uh, with a broken digitizer or the glass. Uh, everybody it. Uh, this one is A1416, it's an iPad 3. It's great. All over on the side you can see. <coughs> Basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this glass off and we're going to replace it with a brand new one. Basically, you'll need a uh, prying tool. I use a metal prying tool. You might want to use a plastic one. It's a little bit harder to damage the little plastic uh, frame that goes around like a little plastic gasket, but it's very easy to make your life miserable because you cannot find the plastic tool that this, that this is this thin. It's gonna go in between the glass and the metal. So, I find this to be the best tool for it. Uh, you need a screwdriver. Uh, we have slightly bent corners, so I'm gonna use these uh, pliers. It's pretty much for the wire stripping, but it's handy. And scissors, something that we're gonna use. And the main important thing is the heat gun or rework station, whatever you have. I'm going to use a rework station, and uh, pretty much what we need to do is heat up the black part of the glass. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, what I do, I always go around to heat up the whole glass a little so that at least it loosens up a little bit, but then I'll start from one side and then go around. I always choose the corner that is not broken, if there is any. In this case, there's this corner, I'll choose that one and I'll start from there. Uh, the best place to actually start from is this corner, after left corner, if you can start from there, because that part is uh, cable free, <laughs> there, is no flex, there are no flex cables, you can actually rip or damage on that side, and then you go down, there is a flex cable here, that flex cable is a digitizer cable, you can rip that off if you want, I don't care, uh, that's, you won't care either because you're going to replace that. The next cable is right here, that's a Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, you don't want to rip this cable. In this case, with iPad 3, it's not really glued to the glass. With iPad 2, it is, and it's glued pretty well, so it's very easy to rip it. If you're repairing the iPad 2, it's the same procedure, just be careful with this cable. Next cable is right here, it's a power volume flex, and that flex cable uh, controls the power button and the volume, and the mute button as well. It's very easy to rip. Um, again, on iPad 2, it's open. On iPad 3, it's covered with a metal piece, so you won't rip that. Luckily, they did uh, did it properly. And uh, the only two other cables that might exist in the iPad are here, two antennas. If you have a 3G, there's Bluetooth and 3G antenna. Um, not all of them have it. Uh, only the models that have, have the actual 3G and 4G models, they have those antennas. You will either see a SIM card on, on the side, or when you turn it on, the actual iPad, and uh, this one is off, the actual iPad will say if it has any service from any provider, that means that you will have those antennas. In this case, we're just gonna, I think this is an iPad, uh, yeah, this is a Wi-Fi iPad, and we're gonna just replace that, we won't have to worry about those cables. Okay, so I'm gonna start heating up this part here. You don't really need to overheat it, uh, the amount of heat you need to apply is uh, the way how you should measure it, when you touch the part where you want to take the glass off, it should be hot enough for you not to be able to hold your fingers on it constantly for more than like five seconds because it's burning. Okay, so the way how I start doing this is always, I leave the iPad, I never leave it laying down on the table, so hopefully you'll be able to see this. I always dig on the corner, a little by little, until you separate the glass. You don't want to break the glass as soon as you start because in that case you're gonna make your life miserable. Sometimes the adhesive will be very stiff. It's gonna be very hard to take it off. In those cases you might need to apply a little bit more heat. Pretty much what I'm doing is just uh, twisting this tool a little by little until it loosens up the adhesive. Don't push too hard if the corner is good. 
you will break it and like I said you'll make your life even more miserable the part where the home button is there is no adhesive so it's easy to separate like I said this antenna is not glued so you don't have to worry about that one but on the iPad 2 you will okay here so we separated the bottom I don't know if you can see this, there is a cable right there, it's the flex cable for the digitizer, I always cut that, we don't really need to worry about it, like I said, you're putting a new digitizer in, uh, be gentle when you're doing this, you don't want to damage the black metal gasket, uh, sorry, black, uh, plastic gasket, okay, so I got to the part where the digitizer is actually broken, I'm going to apply a little bit more heat because I want to uh, try to take off as much of the digitizer as possible in one piece because whatever stays after that you need to peel off and peeling it off is a pain in the butt you can stretch the, uh, the screen if your hand slips so you gotta be careful about that as well not too much heat since you already started separating it it should go off easy, easier I don't see it correct so there's not much we can do about that Right now, what I'll do, I'll just pretty much rip the glass off. Whatever is left is left, I'll have to peel that off. There's not much we can do about that right now. Okay, so the, here there is a, a big piece that is really broken. We'll just separate the digitizer like this. So basically what we're going to do now, we're going to remove the home button, there are two pieces, there is the actual home button with the flex cable and the, but the plastic piece itself, there is the actual button that you're squeezing. Also you can remove this metal piece. This holds antenna in, uh, uh, sorry, not the antenna, it holds the camera in one spot so it doesn't move. A lot of times you don't even really need to put that back in because the camera doesn't move anyway. Always use compressed air to clean up the area of glass because you will scratch the iPad. And maybe someone will get on the screen, you'll scratch the screen. Cleaning the screen on these things is fucking miserable if you end up doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna just heat up pieces that are left over. That's too much heat. It's melting the paper. It's not really paper, but anyway. Okay. Hold the iPad steady and slide the metal prior under. You see it goes really easy, but you really need to apply some heat, otherwise it won't even come off. It will be very hard to remove these pieces. Every time you remove this, there will be glass shards. Clean it off. So you don't cut yourself or scratch the iPad more. Okay, so we have this one here. Same thing, hold it steady, dig under. Okay, so like, you, uh, like I said, you see there is no antennas right here and right here. On a, that's on the Wi-Fi model. On the uh, 3G model, you will have two antennas there. You've got to be careful. 
it's not that easy to rip them, but they are glued to the glass. So if you try to lift the glass off without separating the antennas, you might rip off the cables, both cables. One is here and on the other side, the other side is actually covered. So almost nobody rips that cable, but this cable is very easy to rip. It's right here on this piece and you can rip it very easily. Okay, one more side before we start repairing the iPad to close it up. Like I said, on the iPad 2, if you have an iPad 2 that's 1369 model, 81369, uh, be very careful with this side because there are flex cables that can be very easily damaged. I'll show you where they are. So again, hold the iPad very steady so if your hand doesn't slip and you don't go on the screen. Slide the prior as much as you can while it goes smoothly. When it stops going smoothly, that means you need more heat. Here we go, so here we we'll need a little bit more heat, first to clean out this glass. Okay, so this is the sleep sensor. For people uh, that use that smart cover, uh, the sleep sensor turns off the screen of the iPad when you actually close that smart cover. Um, it's, it can be ripped on the iPad 3 because it's opened up and there is a little component here you can chip off with the fryer if you're not careful. On iPad 2 as well, but on iPad 2 you don't have to, you have to worry about the cable, flex cable that is right under this cover here. That's a volume flex cable. There is a small flex right there, which you will be able to rip. Be very careful if you have the iPad 2. If you rip that, uh, volume, volume buttons are not gonna work, mute button and also the power button. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this last piece of glass. And uh, again, a reminder on the iPad 2, Right here, there is another flex cable that you will uh, this fucking piece of shit tripod. Okay. Hopefully, you can see now. Let's clean this off. Okay, so we're almost done with cleaning it up. Like I said, right here, there will be a flex cable that you can actually rip on the iPad 2. Be careful with that. If you rip that flex cable, you will need to replace the whole uh, flex cable. As I mean, uh, audio flex assembly, which is a miserable thing to do. And you don't want to do that. That means you need additional parts, especially if you're doing this to fix your own iPad at home and you're gonna order more parts and you're gonna be able to close it before you get there. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean up this glass. Like you, uh, as you, as you might have noticed, I took out four screws on the corners. These four screws are holding the screen down you will need to pry it off. Just dig under on this side a little bit and pull the screen off. Be careful, don't yank it. You will rip the cable. This is the flex cable that controls the screen. You can leave it like this. Don't take the screen out, don't unplug it. There is no reason for that. There is a piece of tape on this connector. Take this off. This is the actual digitizer connector. You will have to take out the cable and replace the digitizer with another one. There are two small latches on this, plastic ones, be careful, you don't pull them off. Uh, they can be put back on there, but it's very hard, so just pry it out slowly, and you can take the whole cable out. Now we're gonna replace it with another one.
This iPad digitizer doesn't come with adhesive pre-applied. I will not use the factory adhesive because I do not like that one. I will use a special tape that we always use here for everything. It's a double sticky tape, uh, 3M. It's a crystal clear also, very good. Holds very well. If you need to open up the iPad that you already closed with that tape, it's very miserable. Pretty much fucked up thing to do. Okay, so when you pull back in the cable, make sure you push this bottom piece in and it folds the digitizer cable like this here a little bit. Uh, you don't want this cable to stick out when you put a, when you close it up because in that case it will push up the digitizer and in that area here you will have it separated. When you put this cable in, it's time to put the screen back in. Again, don't unplug the screen. Make sure you put these latches down. If you don't, the digitizer will act up. You will need to open it up and put them down again. You don't need to put the tape. This cable is not alive. I don't know why I put the tape. It's not alive. It's not come, gonna come out. It's not gonna move anywhere. And there is also adhesive on the bottom of the tape of the cable, which holds it down. So you don't really need to add any additional tape there. Put the screws back in. Put the home button back on the digitizer. I cut off a small piece of tape. I put it on the sides where the button is going to go. Like so. First you're gonna put this plastic piece, align it properly so it's even. This way it does not go sideways or something like that. Now it's time to put the flex, the little metal piece with the flex cable. Uh, the way how this goes back, there are no guiders in there, so you will have to put it back properly the same way it was there before. These two little, if you can see there are two little holes here. Uh, these two holes, are gonna go on top of the button in the middle. So try to put it in the middle approximately. It doesn't have to be like exact same spot. And the hole, if you see here, the whole metal piece of the button will go about three millimeters below the glass. Um, that's needed because when you put it in, you won't squeeze on top of the screen. It will go out right under the screen and it's gonna fit in there perfectly. Make sure that the button clicks when you press it, now it's time to put the tape on. Uh, the reason why I use this tape is, like I said, it closes up the iPad much better. But if you need to open it up again, it's completely miserable. Now, before I put the other sides, I'm going to test the digitizer briefly, make sure that it actually moves. Uh, this one has a passcode. The customer didn't leave the passcode for me, but. What I suggest, just touch it around, turn it around, make sure it turns. You'll be able to press the buttons, I mean, whatever you have on the iPad. Make sure it works. It's not like dancing left and right. It's not not, not uh, functional operation at all. Let's see the corners. Also make sure before you put the DC that the whole thing is clean. I already cleaned it up. So if there are any pieces of tape, try to peel them off or any pieces of glass, make sure you take them off because they will scratch the digitizer or might even break it when you press down. I need to close it up. Okay, so this iPad has slightly bent upper right corner. I'm going to use these priors to pull that out a little bit because if you don't do that the glass is not going to fit in. What I do I use these wire strippers uh, they have little teeth in here so you'll be able to hook it up on the corner of the iPad. 
and use a piece of paper so you don't scratch the bottom of the iPad. Also here there is a camera so you don't want to break the little glass, plastic lens or whatever it is. And just bend it out slightly. And you see it comes out really easily. Now it's time to put the rest of the adhesive on there and just close it up. If you want to, you can put this adhesive before you even put the digitizer on, but put it on the digitizer because if you put it on the metal and you try to put the screen back in, then it will cover over the screen and you'll blow the screen as well. You don't want to do that. So here, I put just a small piece of tape so it doesn't cover the antenna completely. Next time, if you need to open it or somebody else needs to open it, you will rip this antenna if you pull it all over the antenna, so you don't want to do that. Like I said, it's on the iPad 2 antenna that's very easy to rip because it really is glued to the glass. I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe whoever was making and designing the iPad didn't think about it. Most likely not, maybe. Clean the screen off the many fingerprints if there are any. I did leave here a little bit. Okay, there's a lot of dust. You gotta clean that off. Use compressed air. small piece here of tape to make sure the side just goes on. Hopefully this corner can always stick up if you don't put the cable properly in there. Don't forget to take this off if you close the iPad with this protector on the inside. It will pop off. You have to open it up again. So now close it. I always close it to the right side first. Leave the side with the cable a little off. Because I want to make sure that that side fits in. Then I push the cable in a little bit, make sure that it's really in, and then I close off this side. Make sure the glass goes inside this black gasket because, like that, it will not stick out and it will fit in perfectly. That's what you want to do because if it doesn't go in like that, you'll try to squeeze it and you might break it. And then you'll have to do the whole thing all over again. Which after watching this video, if you've never done this before, I bet you will not want to because it's miserable. Here we go. So there's a digitizer on the iPad. Go back. And that's pretty much it. Make sure the button works. After they test it, make sure the touch works, slides around. And that's pretty much it.